Hajjaj bin Yusuf, Architect of Empire. In the annals of early Islamic history, few figures evoke as much intrigue and controversy as Hajjaj bin Yusuf, revered by some as a brilliant administrator and military strategist, and reviled by others as a ruthless enforcer. Hajjaj's legacy is a testament to the complexities of power and governance in the Umayyad Caliphate. His life story is a compelling blend of ambition, reform, and relentless authority, shaping the very fabric of an empire at a time of great transformation and turbulence. Moving towards the main video, I wish to request you to please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos on Islamic history. Hajjaj bin Yusuf, also known as Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi, was a towering figure in early Islamic history whose impact is still debated today. Revered by some as a master administrator and military genius, and reviled by others as a brutal enforcer, Hajjaj's career is a testament to the complexities of governance and power during the Umayyad Caliphate. Born around 661 CE, 41 AH, in Taif, a town near Mecca in the Hejaz region of the Arabian Peninsula, Hajjaj hailed from the Thaqif tribe, known for its involvement in early Islamic conquests. His father Yusuf was a notable figure in the community, providing Hajjaj with a background of influence and respect. Initially, Hajjaj served as a teacher in Taif before entering military service, where his skills and loyalty soon caught the attention of the Umayyad Caliph Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan. Recognized for his administrative acumen and military prowess, Hajjaj quickly rose through the ranks, securing important assignments. In 694 CE, Hajjaj was appointed as the governor of Iraq, a province notorious for its rebelliousness and administrative challenges. His role as governor was marked by strict control and significant reforms. He extended his influence over the eastern parts of the caliphate, including Persia and Khorasan, solidifying Umayyad authority in these regions. Hajjaj's achievements were diverse and had long-lasting impacts on the Umayyad caliphate and the broader Islamic world. Hajjaj reformed the tax collection process, ensuring more efficient and equitable distribution. He streamlined the system to reduce corruption and increase state revenues, which helped fund military campaigns and public works. He centralized administrative authority, reducing the power of local governors and tribal leaders, which helped maintain the integrity and unity of the caliphate. He improved record-keeping and introduced a more systematic approach to governance, including the introduction of Arabic as the official language of administration, which facilitated uniformity and better communication within the vast empire. One of Hajjaj's most notable achievements was his successful suppression of multiple rebellions, most famously the revolt led by Abd al-Rahman ibn Muhammad ibn al-Ashath. His decisive actions in these conflicts solidified Umayyad control over Iraq and the eastern provinces. Hajjaj also played a significant role in the expansion of the Umayyad Caliphate into Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent. His military campaigns extended the empire's boundaries, bringing new territories under Umayyad rule and spreading Islamic influence. In 702 CE, Hajjaj founded the city of Wasit, strategically located between Basra and Kufa. Wasit became a major administrative and military center, reflecting his vision for an organized and efficient governance structure. The city was designed to serve as a stronghold for controlling the restive regions of Iraq. Hajjaj also oversaw the standardization of the Quranic text, ensuring that copies of the Quran were consistent across the caliphate. This project involved the collection, verification, and distribution of a standardized text, which helped preserve the integrity of the Quranic message and facilitated its spread throughout the Islamic world. Hajjaj invested in the development of irrigation systems, particularly in Iraq, which enhanced agricultural productivity and supported the economic stability of the region. He improved infrastructure by building roads and enhancing communication networks, which facilitated trade and movement within the empire.
This development was crucial for the administrative efficiency and economic integration of the caliphate. Hajjaj's strict enforcement of laws and regulations brought stability to regions plagued by disorder and rebellion. His governance style, though harsh, was effective in maintaining peace and order, which allowed for economic and cultural development. His methods and policies set a precedent for future governors and administrators. The emphasis on central authority, efficient tax collection, and strict legal enforcement influenced the administrative practices of subsequent Islamic states. By making Arabic the official language of administration, Hajjaj contributed to the cultural and linguistic unity of the Umayyad Caliphate. This decision not only facilitated governance, but also promoted the spread of Arabic as the lingua franca of the Islamic world. While reaching the conclusion, I again remind you to kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hajjaj bin Yusuf's health began to decline in the later years of his life. He remained a loyal supporter of the Umayyad dynasty until his death. Hajjaj died in 714 CE, 95 AH in Wasit, the city he founded. His death marked the end of a significant era in Umayyad administration, but his policies and reforms left a lasting legacy on the governance of the caliphate. Despite his controversial methods, Hajjaj bin Yusuf is remembered as one of the most effective administrators and military leaders of the Umayyad period. His contributions to the consolidation and expansion of the Umayyad Caliphate, along with his administrative innovations, have had a lasting impact on Islamic governance. His legacy is complex. While he is often vilified for his brutality, he is also recognized for his role in stabilizing and strengthening the Umayyad state during a critical period in its history.